My name's Gary, uh, also known as Wally's Massage. Um, I'm a sports massage therapist and specialist. A um, bit of history about what I do. Um, about 10 years ago, we got RBS, and I was one of the corporate sponsors for RBS for kids. Um, we did two corporate days out there at Hackney Centre, where we helped refurbish the playground. So my history with kids runs back a long while before I actually started working for them as a massage therapist. Um, I think I came aboard as a massage therapist about eight years ago, and for the last six years, I've been managing the services for post-race for the marathon for them at this lovely place, which is the um, Methodist Church Hall in Westminster. Um, what I'm here to do is just go for a few tips of what you can do post-race. You guys have been running for a long time, doing lots, lots of miles on your legs, hence today, good weather for a marathon, but as you know, you're gonna be tired. So what do you do to look after yourselves? Um, you know yourselves best, that's the main thing. You know what you do, what you've done, you know what's worked for you. So go back into that mode. Just a few more tips. So if you suffer from what we call delayed onset muscle soreness, you know, maybe not today, but tomorrow or Tuesday, you'll feel like hell. So for me, my, my thing that I do when I do a little bit of running is um, Epsom salts and mineral salts in baths. Absolutely fantastic. So that's my go-to when I do a little bit of running or a little bit of exercise. Not that I do much at all. Um, as a therapist, I know how people hurt themselves, so I don't do much of that at all myself. Um, also about that, you can come see someone like myself for a massage. So that's just to help you fresh your muscles, um, make them stretch, elongate them, and turn them back to useful form for you for when you, when you need to go back to work. The thing about running 26 miles, yes, you're all crazy, I wouldn't do it myself, are your feet. Take a huge hammering. Hopefully, none of you have worn new shoes today because that's an absolute no-no. But again, look after your feet. Again, Epsom salt baths with your feet are really good. Um, if you've got nice partners who can massage them for you, that really helps. Um, in my line of work, we do that for you too. Um, also as well, depends what you like, cryotherapy, i.e. cold. Sometimes cold's really good because that helps reduce the inflammation and also helps to numb pain receptors in any part of the body. Post that, we go to heat. I'm a great favorite of something called a wheat bag. I don't like hot water bottles because I think they're dangerous, but something called a wheat bag. It's a sausage about so long, full of wheat, that you can put in the microwave, heat up for two, three minutes, and use that as your heat, source of heat. Alternatively, you've got the sprays and the gels. They work equally as well, but it's about knowing what you like and what's good for you. And if not, try and test all of them. So, with regards to today, weather's been perfect. Hydration. Feed yourself with the right fluids, your electrolytes, your go-to go -to fluids. I don't mean alcohol. Yes, it's nice to celebrate with, but it's not really good for you after a long race. But wait till you get home, we know we can see you, yeah? So again, food, feed, protein for the, for the muscle recovery. Some people like amino acids. Again, you know what we've done over the last six, eight, nine, nine months. For some of you, two years in the planning, go back to what you know and what works for you. Yeah, self-care is important. Look after yourselves. And for your partners and your friends and family, help look after those people too. They've done a great job for today, supported great charities, put themselves on the line for these massive challenges. So again, look after yourselves, people around you look after you too, and together we will see you next year.